guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today is day 12 of 3D Printmas. Now if you don't know what 3D Printmas is, check the little eye up in the corner. I'll put a link to the playlist of all the videos so far. Uh, basically I'm creating new models and posting new videos every day in the month of December and today is day 12. And I'm extending part of the challenge to you guys to print something every day. You don't have to print what I created, just find something fun, print it out, and tweet me a picture with the hashtag 3D Printmas. So today I have more slimes for you. That's right, Slime Rancher making a comeback, and today I have the final three slimes out of the slimes that are currently released in-game as of filming this video. So you might be able to see the little slimes I've got back here. I've got a ton of them, and they're actually some of my most popular videos. Actually, the second slime video that I created um, has been recently skyrocketing and overtook Citron for my most viewed video. And so today I am bringing you the final three that I have not done so far of the original slimes, not any of the Largos or anything like that. Um, and these are actually by far the most requested because they are some of the newest slimes. So first up we have the Crystal Slime. Now these guys are basically like the Rock Slimes, but they don't have the arms, they have more crystals sticking out in the front, and then their back is made up of crystals instead of rocks. And believe it or not, you don't need supports to print this guy, so it's a pretty fun little model. Then next up, of course, is the Hunter Slime. Now, I absolutely love these guys. They're kind of like the Tabby Slime because they're cat-shaped, but there's quite a few noticeable differences. First up, you've got the um, bandana that it's wearing. The eyes are quite a bit different. The mouth is different. And it's got a few little notches on its ears here that make it look really cute. And the tail's quite a bit different. So for sure, this is one of my new favorites. And now this next one, um, while I think technically in the game it's not classified as a slime, um, and I actually didn't think that I was going to like this one very much after modeling it and everything. But um, after my wife's paint job, I think it's one of my favorites now, and that is the tar. Now, the tar are nasty little guys. Basically, if you let any of your Largos eat each other's poop, these guys come out and start killing all of your slimes, which is not really ideal. So these are kind of turds in-game, but they're basically black blobs, and they have little rainbow patterns going through them. So. Um, I absolutely love the way that this came out. I, I hope that comes through on camera all right because it just looks phenomenal. Okay guys, with this I have created all of the um, base level slimes. And considering how popular these guys were and how much I actually like the games and like the designs of these little guys, I've decided to continue this. This will be the last video for Printmas, but after Printmas I'm going to expand on these quite a bit. And I'm not going to reveal exactly how I'm going to do that yet, but I will tell you that it's going to involve more than just the slimes. I'm so I hope you enjoy these. If you want to print these out for yourself, check the description. There is a link to the files down there. Um, and I'll also put a playlist up in the corner to all of the other slime videos if you want to see those. There's some pretty adorable ones in there. Okay, guys, well, thank you for joining me for 3D Print Miss Day 12. Um, don't forget to tweet me pictures. I'm at Chaos Core Tech. I'd love to see what you guys are printing out there. And that's all for me, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.